Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2023 IFBB Pro League Atlanta Pro Masters Women Events results. So we've got Masters Bikini, Wellness, fitness, figure, women's physique, and women's bodybuilding. If you're looking for the open divisions, I've got a whole separate video already uploaded on that one. But this video, we are focusing just on the absolutely beautiful, amazing masters athletes. So beginning with women's bodybuilding 40 plus. In first place, Salika, second, Wendy, and third, Tamara. So here's Tamara in third place. Unbelievable. She looks so good and her legs are huge. Um, you really get a good look at the size in the lineup. I think she's got great quads, amazing sweep, good detail too. You've got the nice teardrop shape. You've got crazy detail coming through on this leg in the front. I wouldn't mind if the conditioning was a little bit more to show like sharper lines and more of that detail coming up into the hip, but I still think she has really good shape, good size. She's got a nice smooth waist, beautiful um, popping muscles. I think her biceps look awesome. I love this line on the underside of her arms. Uh, I think she looks really good. Uh, maybe she could have a little bit more lat to balance with the legs. In this pose, I think she looks fantastic. But in that more standard facing the front, front pose or or maybe it's just a different angle of the photographer, I did feel that the X shape could have been a little bit more balanced with the top to the bottom. But still, she looks crazy good. A fantastic placing. Next is Wendy in second place. Love the color of her suit. I think it's really flattering with the, her tan and her hair. Um, she's got really nice detail coming through in her legs. You've got that line going all the way up. Great oblique definition. She's got a little bit of six pack coming through, which I think looks really good. Nice, solid, um, just mass in her upper body. I think she's got really good lats. Again, really crazy, nice detail in the arms. I'm loving all these lines. Um, I think Wendy could have more size in the legs. I think the sweep could be a little bit more cur uh, curved, rounded, um, but still like she looks really good. She's got great proportions, beautiful posing, and uh, I think it was a good second place. Okay, next in first place, Salika. Now, she also got third place in the open. So I've already talked about her in my previous video. So I'll kind of just repeat myself a little bit here, go a little bit faster. So what I noticed about her was she's got some amazing size. I love her legs. The quad sweep is crazy good. I'm loving how full, how round. Um, I also noticed her delts. She's got beautiful shape, great size. The biceps are just popping, but she's also got a really good amount of muscle in the bottom part of her arms. Great traps, um, great lats, like just ugh, everything. It's so good. Great size, nice definition in the abs. Um, and she's got good balance within the proportion. So her arms are a good balance to the lats. The lats look good with the waist. The upper body looks good with the lower body. Just overall from top to bottom, she looks really fantastic. The only thing I had suggested was maybe to have the waist band of the, um, bottoms a little higher just to have that illusion of a really teeny tiny little short waist and, uh, make the X even easier. But I mean, her X shape is pretty prominent. So I think she did a great job. And here is everyone side by side. So you can see the legs and the size on our first and third place winner. There's a lot of mass here. And I think Wendy could definitely have a little bit more. She could have a bit more curve to the leg here. Um, the lats, I think on our first place winner are really prominent. They're very easy to see. I think third place could have a little bit more just to make the V taper extra easy. Um, and man, the abs amazing on Salika, beautiful. 
And from behind, I think Salika really takes it here as well. Her skin looks really smooth. The muscles look really full and very 3D. Everything is popping. Everything is easy to see. The definition, the outlining, um, just she looks really, really tight and firm and fantastic shape. I love her glutes. I love how full they are at the bottom, but also how really clear the outlining is. She's got good definition coming into her hamstrings and just check out the size in her legs. Gorgeous. Okay, moving on to Masters 40 Plus Pro Fitness. In first place, Stacy, and in second place, Ashley. And if you look at the scores, it was the same um, first place, second place for the judging, which is the physique, as well as the routines, which is what's written here as finals. Okay, so here's Ashley in second place. I am so impressed. I actually found on Instagram that she very recently had a baby. So, so impressed with her um, physique. Wow. She's got an amazingly flat stomach, beautiful oblique. She's got ab definition coming through. She's posing in a way that really shows off that nice curve in her back, the fullness in her lats. And when I look at the difference between here and the Adela Garcia, I think her leg looks really good. It looks full. You're really noticing the curve in the top of her quad. I think her hamstring looks really beautiful. So overall, I'm super impressed. She looks amazing. Her skin is smooth. Um, she looks fabulous. And here is a screenshot I grabbed of her doing her routine, just so that you could see her outfit. Very fun. Love the colors, of course. She's beautiful. Turquoise blue. Love it. Okay, and then in first place is Stacy. Gorgeous size. I love the amount of muscle she has in her legs. She's got amazing quads, nice small waist, good detail coming through in her abs. Uh, noticing the delts as well. I do think even though she is in first place for both the routine and the physique round, her conditioning could be a little bit more to show off some of that detail in the legs. But I love that you're seeing the six pack. Um, I think the posing is, uh, it, it's a, we're at a different angle than we were for our last competitor, but you're getting a really nice view of the shape of that curve in her back and the glute. So I think she's looking really fabulous. And there is a look at her routine. And here are the girls side by side. You can see that Stacy does have a lot more size than Ashley. She's got bigger delts. She's got larger legs. Uh, she also has a bit more definition coming through. I know I just said that I would love to see even more detail, and I still would. But in this photo, you get a really good look at some of those lines. She's got some nice separation coming through of the quads. I think Ashley could have had both a little bit more size, but also a little bit more the definition like we see on Stacy. Um, Ashley, I think, has a really nice small waist, but overall, I think Stacy is a little bit more muscular, and you're just seeing that V taper and that X frame a little bit more clearly in the fullness of all of her muscles. But both girls look really fantastic. From behind, Stacy definitely has a bit more of that mass in her back. You can see in the lats, she's got a little bit more size here than Ashley. I'm liking all of this definition that Ashley is getting in her back. I think you have a nice shape to her delts, nice small waist, but Stacy definitely is having a bit more size and just a little bit more of the detail. You can see a bit more ham, glute ham tie-ins, a little bit more hamstring. So fabulous. Both ladies looked amazing. Okay, Pro Figure Masters 40 Plus. In first place, Mariana. Second, Danielle. Third, Stephanie. Fourth, Sandy. And fifth, Dr. Adrian. So here's Adrian in fifth place. Amazing. First of all, I like this lighting. I can see a lot more than um, in this photo at the Emerald Cup, but either in both photos, you can see so clearly her amazing silhouette. She's got fantastic quads, great size, beautiful curves, 
tiny waist and gorgeous upper body. I love her delts. I love the size of the muscles in her arms too. I think you get a really beautiful curve, great lats. The just this, I love how curved. I love that roundedness she gets right at the top of the lat. Beautiful. And it it's a really nice V taper, a good narrowing into her waist, and she's got gorgeous conditioning. It's hard to comment because like I said, this picture is a bit dark, but I think the conditioning is even easier to see in this photo. You've got some crazy sharp lines in the quads. You've got a little bit of feathering. You've got vascularity. There's just so much detail and I love it. Um, I think she overall looks amazing. That suit is beautiful. It's very interesting. It's nice colors. It looks fantastic with the background too. So overall, I think she's incredible. All right, next in fourth place is Sandy. Beautiful shoulders. Holy, definitely the first thing I noticed. Lots of height, lots of roundness, just absolutely amazing shape. And it, they just really, your eye is really drawn from the delt to the lat. It's a beautiful V taper. Her waist is super tiny with amazing definition in her abs. Extremely smooth skin, um, really good legs too. She's got a nice balance between the amount of size in the legs and the amount of size in the lats. And she doesn't have the crazy widest uh, upper body, the, the, that V taper. It's not like the shoulders are out super far. I get more of a height from Sandy's physique. I'm really, my eyes coming very up and down. And so I think the shape of her legs match really beautifully with that height in her upper body. Conditioning is nice. Uh, you see good detail in the legs. I'm loving the abs. Um, yeah, overall, I think she looks really fantastic. I'm not crazy about the color of the suit. It's a, a bit, it's not really popping off of her skin, but it is just a photo. And in real life, I'm, I'm wondering if the red tones were a little, uh, different to see than, uh, than we're picking up in the pictures, but still, I think she was amazing. Okay, next in third place is Stephanie. Holy smokes, that's a tiny waist. Amazing definition in her abs, in her legs. Gorgeous. And what I'm loving about Stephanie's conditioning is she has all of this detail, and yet we're not having that crazy, grainy, vascular, hard, um, rough kind of look. She still has this beautiful, round, smooth, full, buttery skin. The muscles look just popping, and yet you've got lovely definition and a lot of detail coming through. It's beautiful. I think she's got just a gorgeous overall look. Uh, I love the hair being up off of her shoulders. It allows you to see those delts really clearly. She's got great outlining of the delts. I just think she needs more size. I think she could have more quad, bigger sweeps, larger lats, but keep the waist tiny like this. That's absolutely incredible. And I think she's really beautiful. She's got a great look. All right, next is Danielle in second place. And I already spoke about her in my other video because she got fifth place in the open division. So she's doing extremely well. I definitely noticed the shape. She's got a gorgeous lat spread, very beautiful um, amount of size to the lats. I love how the straps of her suit come right where the lats and the uh, the torso connect. It's just, it's so flattering. Um, she's got an extremely small waist, good conditioning with beautiful detail coming through in the abs, some nice detail in the legs. Um, I thought her V taper was really easy to see, very prominent. I did think that she could have a bit more size in the legs, even though her conditioning was great. Uh, the posing was good. I still want to see a little bit more of the fullness and roundness in the leg just to match with the lats more. I'm definitely drawn to her upper body. Uh, but I think her suit is great. The hair I commented on before, she could maybe make it all blonde or all the darker color, but but it's not a big deal. I think overall she looks really fantastic. And second place, that's incredible. Beautiful job. 
All right, next in first place, Mariana. Absolutely gorgeous. She's cut beautiful skin. Um, we also saw her get fourth at the open show. So again, I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but I thought her um, V taper was really lovely. Again, a nice tiny waist. Um, she's got good size in the legs. It's a, it's a nice balance between the legs and that upper body and a nice small waist in between. She's got that good narrowing. So you really notice the V taper. I like the fit of her suit. It comes up nice and high, draws your eye to the, the smallest part of her waist. Um, I liked that you could see some definition coming through in the abs, but I did think that that could be a little bit sharper, a little bit more of the detail, just the lines being easier to see, uh, as well as in the legs too. I mean, you're having some nice definition for sure, particularly up in this middle part of the quad, but I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more of the lines coming up into the hips. Um, but still, I think she did a really great job. I did comment in the other video again about the color of the suit. I found it to be a bit of that monotone orange, but who knows what it was actually looking like in person versus in the photo. So not a big deal. <clears throat> All right, so here is everyone side by side. Some extremely impressive features on all of these women. Like, I definitely see Sandy's shoulders. I noticed Danielle's lats as well as her abs. On Mariana, it's that beautiful shape. She's just got this really nice narrowing in of her waist, a beautiful curve. Um, Stephanie, it's that conditioning in the legs, the tiniest waist you see out of oh, everybody. And Adrian, man, so much mass. She's got a lot of width, a lot of muscle in her upper body, but really great legs too. So this is a fabulous master's figure. Wow. From behind, gorgeous. I'm definitely drawn to first and second. I think you're seeing a lot of that beautiful width in the lats and the shoulders. Mariana, the delts look really good from behind. You've got a really nice shape. You've got some good detail coming through underneath. Um, I think her V taper looks really impressive. All the ladies have very small waists, but I'm definitely noticing that really nice shape here and a nice fullness in her glutes. She's got good curve, good roundness, and they're just very, um, like pumped up. Whereas with Danielle, it's a little bit more striated. It's a bit more lean, a bit sharper. I think Mariana's glutes just have a bit more roundness and fullness, which might've been what helped her secure that first place. Beautiful lineup overall. Ah, so impressed. All right. Pro Bikini Masters 40 plus. In first place, Alessandra. Second, Nicole, third, Fatima, fourth, Belinda, and fifth, Vanessa. So here's Vanessa in fifth place. She's stunning. Um, the first thing I noticed were her quads. She's got a great shape in the back leg, beautiful sweep in the front. She's got a nice line coming down, some good detail coming through in the back leg. I think she's posing really well, so you're getting a nice narrow uh, waist. I think she, you really notice the glute and the curve to her hamstring. Um, good hourglass. Overall, I think she looks really beautiful, but I do think she could have a bit more roundness to the delt or maybe even just play with the placement of the arm, maybe have the thumb rotated a bit more to the side just to really draw out that curve to the side of the shoulder. Still beautiful. Love the suit. Love her hair. I think she really nailed it. All right, next in fourth place is Belinda. Beautiful glutes. I definitely noticed the shape here, and I'm loving in particular where the glute and the hamstring come together. She's got a really nice curve. Great obliques, nice flat stomach, um, beautiful legs as well. Uh, a little bit of detail coming through on the quad. I wouldn't mind if she had a bit more sweep to this front leg. Just it's a bit straight. I wouldn't mind if there was a tiny bit more curve. I think the back leg looks really good. Nice curve here. Um, 
I think she's got good shape to the shoulder, but maybe she could pose in a way that just looks a bit more popped and pumped up, like chest up, shoulders back, bring this shoulder a little bit further out to the side. It could be the angle that we're looking at and, and from a little bit more straight on, it's more what I'm meaning, but I feel like in this photo, the glute is sticking out a bit further than the arm, and I wouldn't mind if the shoulder was just a bit more back and the chest and the upper body more open, more twisted, but keep everything else the same. Keep the, the stomach, keep the legs. Um, yeah, overall, I think she looks great. It's a beautiful suit. Um, she looks wonderful. Okay, next in third place is Fatima. Gorgeous definition in her hip. Look at that. She's got a nice outline of the quad. Uh, good, good size to the legs as well. I'm definitely noticing the amount of size she has in the bottom, in the hamstring. Good definition and detail coming through in her obliques. You got a bit of six pack, but not too much. Um, gorgeous detail in her arms as well. Uh, she's not quite in her pose here, but definitely I think if the arm was straighter uh, to the side, it would highlight that delt a little bit more, but it's just a photo, no big deal. Uh, I like her curly hair. Definitely I would want the hair to be off the shoulders just so that we can see the delts a bit better. And this shade of red I'm loving. She's got a uh, good contrast with her skin tone. There's, I think maybe a little bit of that yellowy crystal or... Either way, it's just picking up some beautiful lighting, and um, I think she looks really great. I would do a bolder lip, honestly, a little bit more red, um, but otherwise, I think she looks really good. She's got nice, smooth, buttery, soft skin, fullness in the legs, not too sharp, but still some good definition coming through. Okay, Nicole. Wow. All right. This is what I mean in the posing. Very professional and poised and confident and just perfectly placed, um, particularly where we are at the angle of the photographer, to really see the hourglass shape. She's got her chest up, the shoulders back. She's twisted in the front. Her waist looks extremely um, small and just ringed and very flattering, right? You notice the S curve. You've got some nice detail coming through in her serratus muscle. Her obliques look fantastic and you're getting a good view of her glute and her hamstring. And then I think she's got a nice amount of quad and a good sweep on that back leg too. So I think she looks awesome amazing. The posing to me is the best part of it all. She looks really good. Uh, loving the detail in her delts, that little bit of a line that you're seeing, the beautiful curve where she um, comes to the triceps. She looks amazing. Nice suit color. Um, I think it's a turquoisey, greeny, beautiful. Uh, nice hair, everything. She's stunning. And now in first place, Alessandra. Wow, her glute looks insane. What a crazy curve she has to her back. It's not the best angle that we're at. We're seeing her quite straight on. I think if we were looking a little bit more from this, you know, a little more where the judges are, I think we would see the hourglass a little bit better. But from this angle, my goodness, we're getting a great view of the height in her glute. You're seeing an amazing hamstring, a crazy detail in her abs, beautiful shape to the arm. We're not quite getting um, the shape of this front arm quite so well in this angle, but you can see she's got good detail, nice size. But man, what a lovely lower body and great suit. That red is striking. Again, I would say a little bit of a darker lip, but I think she does have uh, more than simply a nude or a light color. So nailing it. Okay, so here's the side by side. Um, really beautiful. Everyone looks amazing. I'm definitely noticing the abs on Alessandra as well as this beautiful groove on her hip. Nicole, her posing really stands out to me. It's a beautiful shape. I love the detail coming through on her leg. Belinda, really nice curve to the glute. Um, Fatima, beautiful conditioning. I love the obliques. I love this detail in her hip, her 
back arm looks incredible. And Vanessa in this photo, her quads look gorgeous. Really great sweep. Everybody has something super beautiful about them. But to me, Alessandra, you really notice the abs. She just looks really athletic. And that glute, man, so high and round. And then from behind, there wasn't... Um, a stage shot of them so I I just mashed up this photo all together and what I'm liking here with Elisangela is the beautiful curves and definition in her delts she's got a really nice small waist and a nice fullness and roundness to her glutes and just that littlest bit of detail coming through into the hamstrings I think Nicole beside her is also extremely impressive in the shape and the size of the glutes she's got a little bit more of the tie-ins easier to see but perhaps she had a little too much definition in the hamstrings um, maybe it's it's an idea uh, I think both of them look amazing Alessandra just has a little bit more of the softness and fullness I think in the back of the legs beautiful everyone looks amazing okay women's physique in first place, Isabel, second, Allison, third, Rachel, fourth, Heidi, and fifth, Patricia. So here's Patricia in fifth place, gorgeous size. Definitely notice the amount of muscle she has in her legs. Um, she's got great detail coming through in the quads. Nice, flat, smooth stomach, though I wouldn't mind a bit more ab definition. And then a nice amount of definition in the arms for sure. You're really seeing a separation of the delt and the tricep and the bicep. Um, maybe a little bit more size in the lats just to really balance out with the legs, but still, I think she's got a great shape. You're really noticing that X frame. I like that her hair is off of her shoulders, so you can really see the delts popping and, uh, just overall, she looks fabulous. All right, next is Heidi in fourth in beautiful pink. It's a great color, really pops. You definitely notice her in the lineup. I think she's got really good definition in her arms. Again, the biceps are completely outlined. Nice delts. Um, She's got a good V taper coming in, not quite the tiniest waist, and I wouldn't mind if there was a bit more of that definition coming through on the abs, but I do love how smooth her skin is. She's got this great um, silhouette where you're really noticing the beautiful V taper and nice legs, really nice legs. She's got good quad sweep, good detail coming through in the... Um, all of the different parts of the quads, now all the way up into her hip. Beautiful detail, particularly down by the kneecap. Uh, and good size in the legs as well. I do think she could for sure have more size in the lats because she's got these great arms and really great legs. But the lats to me are a little bit hidden, particularly this back one. So um, that's it. I think she looks really good. Fourth place was amazing. Okay, next and third is Rachel beautiful posing. I love her obliques. I think she's got a tiny waistline with really good detail. Beautiful curve to the sweep of her quad. Wow. I'm loving how her leg has this smoothness and then a big bump right here. Same over here, a bit of a smoothness and then the big mass of muscle closer to the middle of her leg. It looks fantastic. I definitely noticed the biceps. I think she's got really good posing. She's. I like how she's got the um, leg a little further out, way up on her toe. It definitely highlights the sweep. Um, again, I still think Rachel also could have a bit more lat. I'm noticing the legs quite a bit more. So I would like to have my eye go from this massive leg to the tiny waist and then back out to more massive lat. So if she could just build a little bit more in here. Otherwise, I think she looks really good. It's a great suit, beautiful colors. Love that her hair is up and back. And yeah, her posing is fabulous. You definitely notice that X shape. So if she could just build a little bit more to make the V taper a bit more prominent. All right, second place, Allison. 
beautiful shape. So I do notice Allison's V taper very clearly. She's got a lot of mass in the lats and her lats come nice and low. So it's like it goes from lat to this tiniest part of her waist and then right back out into her muscular legs. Gorgeous. So it's a very easy to see X shape and she's got good definition too. Lots of detail coming through in the legs. Um, you've got some ab definition. You've got some beautiful shoulders. The, the muscles in her arms are very clear and easy to see. I think she could have a bit more size to the biceps and maybe even a bit more size to the delts in this front pose. Uh, but still, I think she's got overall a really great shape, some good definition, maybe a little bit sharper in the abs, but, but yeah, overall, fabulous, great posing and a uh, great shape. All right, first place, Isabel, beautiful. So we've seen her already at this show in my last video. She got fourth place in the open and uh, wow, her conditioning really caught my eye. She's got crazy lines, great detail in the legs in particular, but you can also see her waist is so small and she's got really good detail of the abs coming through and her arms look fantastic. So overall, her conditioning definitely stands out. Her posing is good. You notice that X frame. Uh, she's vascular, she's sharp, she's got lots of detail. I do think though that she could have more size. The lats could come out wider, the legs could have even more sweep, a bit more mass on the inside. So just like the limbs, if she could get a little bit more up top and below, but keep her waist so tiny and small and keep the conditioning. But still, she got first place. So clearly she's got what the judges are looking for. The red suit looks great with her, um, her, her hair, her skin, jewelry. She's amazing. Okay, so there's the lineup. I know it's quite zoomed out, but you can see the, the ladies side by side and some of those different features. So definitely Isabel does not have the largest legs. I think Patricia has quite a bit of size. Uh, Heidi has some great uh, quad sweep. Allison as well. Like everybody has really good shape, beautiful lines, nice conditioning coming through on the legs in this photo. Isabel for sure has the smallest waist. Um, I think you're seeing some pretty imp impressive V tapers and lat spreads on some of the, uh, on all of these competitors, really, everybody has some pretty great size. Isabel, again, like I said, not the largest, but she's got beautiful conditioning and, uh, I think her balance looks really good from behind gorgeous glutes on Isabel. She's got a great outlining of the whole shape, right? When you look at third, fourth, and fifth, you don't quite have as much of that sharpness in the lines outlining and surrounding the glutes. I think you see it a little better with Allison and Isabel. Um, I think you also see some great detail coming through on Isabel's hamstrings. And man, her waist is just tiny. Definitely eye-catching. All right, and now pro wellness. In first place, Casey. Second, Rogli. So here's Rogli in second place. Beautiful detail in her hip. Oh, I love this. And she's got this groove. She's got this great curve and a nice shape coming through in her quad. I think she's got a good line. You've got a nice sweep. She's got some good size in the legs. But I do think for wellness, she could have even more size. I think the quad could be even bigger. Um, and I think she could separate her feet a little bit more so that we can see a bit more of that hamstring of the back leg but her waist looks nice and small she's got a good curve to her back you definitely notice the glute um, some nice size and shape to the delts beautiful traps even I like that her hair is to the back and a gorgeous pink suit so overall I think she looks really good just a bit more size in that lower body in her legs in particular but the glutes look amazing and now Casey in first place. Wow. She looks stunning. Great size to her legs. The 
quads, the hamstrings, good definition. You've got the line coming through, but also great size to the glute. I think she's got a really nice balance between that size of the glute and the size of the leg. But she also has a really nice shape. So you you notice the small waist and that beautiful curve of the glute and a great curve to the hamstring. She's got, like I said, a very small waist, good definition coming through in her obliques, nice lats, and the delts have a great shape too. And I know wellness is not about balance. It's not about the upper body matching the lower, but I really like that she's got a good width and nice fullness to the shoulder that does line up quite well with the glute. I think it just makes your eye travel down her body and really appreciate that beautiful curve that she has. Uh, great suit. It's nice and dark. It's a rich color. Looks great with her skin and her hair. I think she looks beautiful. All right, so here's the girls side by side. Definitely noticing the shoulders on Casey. Very full, very round. I think her posing is really good. Her shoulders a little bit more pulled back. I think Rogli could definitely open up, twist a little bit more just to get the shoulders a bit more rounded. Um, both women have beautiful round glutes. Great definition coming through on Rogli. Uh, definitely noticing that larger size in Casey's legs. And then from behind, I think Casey also has a bit more size in the glutes. Um, you're seeing the size not only from a width perspective, right? You're also seeing a lot more size up and down. And she just looks very full, like the skin looks just bursting, right? The muscles are so full and uh, beautiful shape to the legs. I think Rogli in this photo, you can see could have a bit more curve to the quad. Both women have nice small waists, nice delts popping through, overall gorgeous. Casey might want to have the hair a little bit shorter just to show off more of her small waist, but I think the color is perfect and uh, wow, super impressive. Okay, guys, I know I'm behind on my recaps, but they are coming. So make sure you subscribe. There's more coming your way. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment your thoughts below and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.